I'm going to try to use some simple logic here. I'm sure that you guys will voice your opinions, and I do look forward to it. So here goes. Where does the soul of an aborted fetus go? Does it go to heaven? Hell? Limbo? Whatever the hell that is? I think that most religious people would agree that the soul of a miscarried or aborted fetus gets a pass and goes straight to heaven. No questions asked. However, once that baby is born, it is automatically considered a sinner in God's eyes. And this brings up a few questions in my mind, like what happens if the child dies on its way out? How much of that baby needs to be exposed to the open air before it's declared born? Must the entire body be out and breathing on its own to be considered born? Say that only the head of the baby was out when death occurs. Heaven or hell? What if its legs were still inside the mother at the point of its death, or its feet, or just one foot, or just the cord? At what point does God decide that the soul of that now dead baby is perfect, sinless, and has earned a mansion in the kingdom of heaven? Or it had achieved birth and is therefore a sinner and must burn in a lake of fire forever because it died before finding Jesus. I'm sure there will be a huge discussion about those questions, but the one that I'm most interested in hearing an answer to is this. If a woman has an abortion well before that baby can be born, and you feel that the soul of that aborted baby will go to heaven, didn't she commit the ultimate act of kindness? She guaranteed heaven for her unborn child at the risk of hell for herself.